Okay, let's say you got a good review from your customer and you want to use those review in uh, ads or whatever. Um, the thing is, what can you do? So let's say you sold a product and the customer, so this is the customer, he's really happy and he wrote a review. The review can be on your website. The review can be also be in your mail. And it's something you want to use for your advertising. So what you can do is you can send them a letter. Hey, I want to use your text in my advertising. Why I'm saying that is because uh, most people don't realize it. As soon as you write something down and in a specific way, most time the people have a copyright on it. And if something is wrong or they don't like it, they can sue you for that. That's one way. But most people don't do that because it's a simple matter. They don't take action unless it's really necessary. So, what can you put into the letter? So, let's say you want to get permission. So, we're going to start with the subject. When I talk about subjects, the thing that you need to fill in in the email form and i assume you're not sending a letter i am assuming you're sending an email yeah so we start with the subject and then we're gonna be like permission to use unsolicited solicited testimonial yeah so you want to use this as testimonial so um you can start really simple by dear and the name like always and then so we have the name here then you can say thank you so much for your letter or email doesn't matter eh? and you can just start and then it's always nice to hear when things are going right when things are going right um by the way let me um put this in a box the reason i'm saying this is because sometimes people can send you an email but they can also send you a message on telegram or um, a letter so let's put this in a box yeah so you highlight it i mean you make it bold and this is how you can yeah this is how you can start so let's say they really like your product the product or service really helped them a lot you be like okay hey and then you be like okay can i use your testimonial so how would you start with what you can put into it so remember the first part of the letter you can change it however you want and the second part also just keep in mind this is just a template so you can use in different situation so let me write the second part so then we will discuss it you have says Okay, and here we're gonna put the uh, signature. We're gonna get the signature from another letter. Okay. Now we're gonna create the other letter. Yeah, it's not a letter, it's just a uh, statement. So you put this on a different page. Different page, please. Yeah. And then you can start with this 
you can type in capital it's up to you it doesn't really matter but um you have my permission to quote from the attach here you put email email messenger There's something you need to change based on um, up front and ads. Sure is mail and other promotions used to market market your and then you put your services product or services yeah and then you put down here so we put down here signature and then put the date yeah so they can get that simple so you let them sign this on the seventh page and let's send it to you and let them make a copy for their own keep in mind if you talk about a quote in a message letter or email you need to choose the right one and keep it that way if they talk about product or services make sure you name the product or services here remember this is a template that you can use yeah so technically this is the this is the letter that you can send them and if you have question about it you see the link on the screen and uh, you can go on the discord on the last center and the last center you can ask me question about this so interesting interesting i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i'll make mistakes but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be